Hey guys, what is up? It's me here, Jay Pineapple, and I'm back again for another video, and this time we're going to be checking out the Marvel Legends Buddha figure Warlock Wave X-Men Sunfire figure from Hasbro. So, uh, yeah, here's the figure. Looks cool. Alright, cool. Um, what am I going to do with the figure? What am I going to do with it? Um, I'm going to throw it away and never, ever play with it again. Okay, so here's the box, guys. Um, it looks alright, it has Marvel X-Men down there, Marvel Sunfire, has Hasbro logo, both sides has um, an image of Sunfire, you can see it says Legend Series there, it has an X, you know, Marvel's build a figure Warlock, you know, it's cool, 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 alright, picture of Warlock here, you know, picture of Warlock there, um, Sunfire there, you know, bio, if you guys really care about the bio, you guys can kind of pause. So, yeah, it's cool. Um, all the other figures in the wave as well. Uh, the only really other figure I really want from this wave is Colossus. I need to just quit YouTube. I just called Cyclops Colossus. I need to quit YouTube. Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, it's Jay Pumble signing out. Peace. But in all seriousness though guys, um, uh, yeah, that is the one figure that I do want from this wave. That's the uh, probably the only other figure I want from this wave, uh, besides like probably like Shatterstar or even Dazzler, you know. I don't like Polaris. <laughs> and the build figure looks alright too, but um, yeah, Sunfire was awesome. So, uh, yeah. Okay guys, so yeah, uh, that's the packaging. Let's just get into the figure's accessories now. Let's go. So the figure comes with basically, so it comes with the um, Warlock. Uh, so torso, and this is a weird torso. It's actually cool because it has like a diaphragm joint, but it's like an ab crunch at the same time. It's actually really cool. You can kind of like crunch it and swivel it and stuff like that. But it's also like a crunching joint. It's actually a really nice mechanism, so I like it. Okay, so there you go. That's the wall up piece it comes with. It comes with these two fire effects. Um, looks cool. You know, uh, this is basically the same thing as Iron Fist's effects, which I can't find around me, but it's basically the same thing, except it's a darker color from here onwards. It's like a darkerish, it's darkish color. And um, yeah, it's more lighter. The Iron Fist effects are more light than this. So uh, yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice. These are pretty nice. And you can just pop it around one of the hands to Sunfire. You can just pop it right around there. And you can actually look inside and see which one's which. So. That one actually says that it is L1, so it goes on the left hand. So, yay. And this one is supposed to go on the right hand. So, there you go. And, uh, yeah, you just, what, basically what you do is you look inside. And I'm not sure if my camera will pick it up, but you can look inside and see that it has an R2 on it. So, that means it's on the right hand. And this one has, like, an L But yeah, it has, it, it basically there's an L and an R, so yeah, and they can just pop right onto Sunfire's hands, so uh, yeah, and then Sunfire looks like a badass, so uh, yeah, let's get into the actual figure itself now, shall we guys? What? So here is the figure's head sculpt, guys, and I gotta say, it is actually pretty cool looking, I like it, I like it, I like it. I like uh, the sculpt work up here, it's a completely new sculpt, which I really dig. Um, I dig the way they sculpted the mask, I dig the way they put the gold paint around there, and it's got that nice um, orange eye, so it's really cool, and uh, the mouth looks alright, it's pretty cool, um, yeah, um, the rest of the suit painted out pretty well, for the most part, it's a bit splotchy down the back here, but you can't really see that too much, so yeah, everything's painted out pretty nicely, and I like this gold um, effects near the, um, near the fists here. And the legs look alright, they look alright, and nice gold, sort of fire type um, paint apps. So, uh, yeah, it just looks like a nice figure overall. So, uh, yeah, this figure's packed with articulation, so the head hinges up that much, so you can get him in some really nice flying poses. Um, it hinges downwards that much, so you can sort of get him looking down, pretty cool. Um, you can sort of move the head all the way around. And it doesn't really have much neck pivot, which I'm not, which I don't really care about. So, yeah, I'm not too upset about that. It has an armpit joint that moves in and out. So, armpit joint, you know, moves in and it moves out. So, yeah, nice armpit joint there. 
arms rotate as well, he ball hinge joints at the shoulders, so they hinge out that much, and they swivel all the way around. There's also a bicep swivel and a double hinge for the elbow, so it bends in. It actually doesn't really bend in that far, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I don't know, I don't like that double hinge. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't like it. But anyway, there's a swivel at the wrist and a hinge going uh, down and up or in and out, depending on which way you have that uh, joint positioned. There is a ab crunch joint that clicks forward that much and it clicks back uh, that much. So you can have it like going backwards, you know, and having like really awesome, like, you know, that's not, that's not a very good pose, but you know, that's just an example of it moving backwards, so. Uh, yeah, not too bad. Um, this is made out of a rubbery type material, so it can actually move along with the waist joint. You know, so it, do it doesn't really get in the way. So yeah, and the waist joint is actually kind of, it's kind of clicky. That's on a lot of these Marvel Legends figures that a lot of the waist joints are very clickety. So uh, yeah, um, the legs are attached with ball joints, so they kick forward like that much. That's as far as they'll go. That's like very far. <laughs> So yeah, and they don't really kick back that far, which I don't expect them to. Um, they sort of move outwards like that much. So that's actually a pretty good amount nowadays. Um, Spider-Man figures can't do that, so yeah, rip. Um, there is a thigh cut. Um, it does break up the sculpt though, so that's a little annoying, but that's what thigh cuts do. Uh, double hinge for the knee, so that's all right. And a swivel at the calf. Now this is an example of a bad calf swivel, of a bad boot calf swivel, because that just does not look good. Come on Hasbro, that does not look good. How can you just, oh my God, I don't know. Anyway, um, the ankles move backwards that far and they move this far forward. So pretty nice actually, nice ankle articulation. There's an ankle rocker that works fine. So um, yeah, and peg holes above the feet. So this is a really, really cool figure guys. I really do dig it. Um, I hope you guys dig my review and really liked it. If you guys did like my review, um, why not hit the like button and subscribe and uh, yeah, comment below your thoughts and uh, yeah, basically until next time, it's going to be Jay Pumple signing out. Peace.